Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll continue with the topic that we began yesterday dealing with the, with the notion of rounding and estimation. How do we go about rounding and estimating? Second part of the three-part series. Before we actually start doing the, some of the questions, some of the problems, let's first talk about the concept of different digits, what are they called in a given number. For example here, if we have, if we have 8, 7, 5, 4, point three two three two let's not repeat any digits let's not different there is no shortage of it let's do three two six let's begin shall we do you know what each one of these digits is called let's begin with after the decimal here what is this guy called this is called tenth digit tenth digit tenth Make sure you tenth digit as opposed to this one. This is tens. Tens digit. Why? Because if you write 54, what does 54 tell us? 54 tells us that we have how many tens? We have five tens. 54 tells us that we have five tens and four ones. Five, five, five tens and and four ones. 54 tells us that we have how many tens? Five tens. So five is called the tens digit. Four tells us how many ones we have. This is called the ones digit. This is called the ones digit or sometimes it is known as the unit digit. Unit digit. Ones or unit digit. What does this tell us? Well, 754. What do you suppose 754 in, this, in the number 754? What does 7 tell us? It tells us how many hundreds we have. 7 hundreds. So 7 is called hundreds digits. Hundreds with an S. Hundreds. As opposed to the 2, which is the hundredth digit. Hundredth digit. For example, for example, if you put down seven point, for for example, if you put down point seven three, what does this tell us? This tells us that this quantity is made up of seven tenths. Seven tenths is point seven, and it is made up of three one hundredths. Three one hundredth is point zero three. Point seven plus point zero three will give us point seven three. So 0.77 tells us here how many tenths do we have? How many tenths? We have three, we have seven tenths. How many tenths do we have? We have seven of them. How many hundredths do we have? Hundredths. How many do we have? We have three one hundredths. This is the thousands digit. I left no room here, but this is the thousands digit. Thousand, again with the TH. And this is thousands. Let's begin our process, shall we? Which is what which is what problem number two is dealing with on page number 76. If we turn to page number 76, problem number two is dealing with this con this concept. They are asking us to round things. So we're gonna do exactly what they tell us. Let's begin. It says round round 38.3 Three six nine two ones digit once sometimes they call it once or sometimes they call it the unit digit two unit digit and if you do that the answer is going to be if you round it to the ones digit once well what's the answer thirty eight point 369, listen very carefully, 
most people will round this to 30, 38.37 or you can round it to 38.4 but once you go that far it still is just 38.4 here's your 38 here's your 38 here's your 39 here's your 38.5 right in the middle where is 38.4 this this thing is less than 38.4 where is it it's right here 38.4 it is closer to 38 than it is to 39 because it's less than 38.5 had it been 38.5 or more than that had it been here or something here we would have rounded it up 38.5 is the midpoint if it had been here or anything to the right of it we would have rounded it to 39 38.4 we have to round it to 38 so 38.369 when it's rounded to one digit or the unit digit as it is called it's simply 38. It is simply 38. Let's do one more. How about 38.369 around it to tenth digit? Tenth. Well, when you round it to tenth digit, this use the tenth digit. Oh, before we do the tenth digit, let's do the well, tenth digit would have been, not would have been, is going to be 38.4. 38.4. Why? Because after the point three, which is your tenth digit, we have a six, which is more than, uh, which if it's more five or more than five, you round it up. It becomes thirty-eight point four. The round it to nearest tenth digit. How about if we were to ask to round it to round thirty-eight point three six nine to tenth digit, not tenth, but tenth digit. Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Let's find out our tens. Here is the thirty. Here is the 40. Here is the 35. So if it's 35, if it's 35 or something more than that, we round it to 40. If it's something less than 35, if it's something less than 35, the nearest tenths to something less than 35 is 30. Well, this is 38 actually. 38, we are somewhere here. 38. So the closest tenths is 40. The closest tenths to 38 is 40, not 30. Keep on going. I'm going to pick up some speed now. How about 57.369? Well, these are all the same. We did that. We did 369 already. So we did the unit, we did the tens, we did the tenth, we did the hundred. Let's do the hundred. 38.369 to the nearest one hundredth digit. But well, one hundredth digit is this. Since it's three six nine, it's going to become thirty eight point three seven, because nine is more than five, more than or equal to five. So one more time, look into my notes here. We did the unit, we did the tens, we did the tenth, we did the hundredth. Uh, let's do the thousand. Let's do the thousand. How about? 27.4983 to the nearest thousand thousand with the th nearest thousand this is the tenth this is the hundredth this is the thousand and the one after that which is the ten thousand this is this is ten thousand is less than or equal to is less than five which means it's going to remain 8. 8 is going to remain 8. When you round it to the nearest thousand, it's simply, we're going to drop out the 3, we're going to drop the 3, it's just going to become 27.498. 27.4983 rounded to nearest thousand is simply 27.498. We have to drop the 3. How about this guy? 68.4 four nine eight seven to the nearest thousand again you shouldn't use the detail thousand thousand since now we are in the tenth thousand place we have a seven we have a seven which is equal to or more than five this is going to be rounded up eight is going to become nine and we'll end up with four point nine nine 
68.4, not 4.9 rather, 68.499 is what I meant to say. What if you were to ask, what if you were to ask to round 68.4987 to the nearest tens? 68 is closer to 70 than it is to 60. If you go from 60 to 70, 68 is closer to 70 because it's equal to or more than 65. Round it to nearest tens, it becomes 70. When, what would you do if you, was, if you were to ask to round to 68.4987 to nearest hundred? Nearest hundred, hundred. Not hundred, hundred. Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's do it on the top. Round this number 68.4987 to the nearest hundreds. Well, here is our 100, and here is our 0 hundred. This is 0 hundred. 0 times 100 is 0. So here we have 0 hundred, and here we have 100. Where is 68 for? Well, right in the middle is 50. So if it's 50 or more than 50, and if you are being asked to round 51, in other words, if you were to ask, if you were asked to round 51 to nearest hundreds, 51 rounded to nearest hundred becomes 100, because 51 is here. Similarly, here we have 68. 68 is way over here. So the nearest 100s, hundreds, hundreds, not hundredth, is 100. Do you understand? 43, if you are asked to round 43 to nearest hundreds, it becomes zero. It becomes zero. Let's do one more time here. 43, around it to hundreds, hundreds, with an S, it becomes zero. Because 43 is going to be here. It is closer to zero than it is to one when you're counting by hundreds. We're going to do the third part of the series, part three of three, tomorrow, in the next video. Okay? Bye now.